Hey old Blake here with another video and a lot of us are probably familiar with wish.com It's kind of a bit of a sketchy website, but the prices are just too good to look past Well, I had a look on there There's quite a few aquarium items and I thought let's pick uh, five of the best ones see what turns up and uh, Yeah, three weeks ago I ordered and sure enough here we have it So let's unbox this package and find out what items I ordered from wish.com Okay, so first of all, today is the 1st of February. I ordered these items on the 11th of January, so just over three weeks ago. And I picked uh, five items that I thought looked okay. Um, I'm already a bit concerned about the sizing, but um, that is not unusual. I actually ordered six items in total, but one of them hasn't turned up yet, which is not exactly surprising either. I've got my phone here and we'll talk about the price of each item as I unbox them. But I just thought it would be kind of fun today to talk about whether Wish could be a viable option to pick up your aquarium goods or not. Alright, so let's have a look at the first one here. Of course, I just ordered some sponge. So, let's have a look. Just thought we can always use sponge and it's fairly you know, cheap and accessible, so let's take a look at what the quality of Wish.com's sponge looks like. Alright, so, okay, so as you can see, it's a nice coarse uh, material here, which is what I was after. You can actually see through it in real life here. I don't think it's going to show up on camera though. But let's test out. First of all, we'll have a look at the actual listing. So, Obviously it doesn't look like this, but this is what was supposed to turn up. 50 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So let's measure it up. <clears throat> if we measure it up, we have 48 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So pretty good, but obviously the ad makes it look a lot bigger than it really is. And as you can see here, it was $3. So, um, $3 plus $2 shipping, so $5 in total. Overall, you know, I think it's a good staple to have in the fish room, and definitely we should all have some sponge. I do have some use for this. I'm gonna use it to cover the overflow on some hang on breeder boxes, but $5 for this much sponge is probably a little bit of a rip off, and you can probably get better um, stuff off eBay, so. So I don't think we'll be reordering any sponge from Wish anytime soon. Let's have a look at the next one here. So we open it up. <laughs> okay, this is the next one, which I thought was kind of a bit of a gag. We have a teeny tiny little fish tank. Okay, so first of all, it's come with a huge crack in it, which is fantastic. So the thing I thought was pretty cool about this is it has a little LED in it, but uh, Obviously we won't be using it. I thought it would be fun as a little mini um, aquascape. It's got the Lego blocks on the top so you can actually um, you can actually connect multiple together if you like, but obviously not the water volume. But what happens is we've got just some LED strip at the top there and then the main base of the cont container here, but obviously got a huge crack in it. So um, we'll try the Wish customer support and um, try and get a new one there. It was $13, which I think is pretty okay for what it is. You got a little LED light. Obviously, there's a picture of a better fish on the listing, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a closer look at this little tank. So we have just a little plastic box that slides into a housing there. So it comes up into two pieces. Underneath the lid, we have a little LED light strip. On top of the lid, we have a feeding hole there, which I think is really handy. And then let's uh, actually check out the LED strip. So the LED strip there is with a USB. I'm just gonna hook it into my little uh, power bank here. And that's actually a surprising amount of light, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think this could easily grow some low light plants, some moss, something like that. I'm pretty impressed by that light, to be honest. That's pretty bright so it looks like we've got three white LEDs that are decent power here let's yeah overall I think if it came uh, in one condition this would be a great little buy and 
and it could be a little great option to practice your aquascaping skills. Um, scaling down like this, you use a lot less aquasoil, a lot less plants, and a lot less hardscape. So it could be a great little practice aquarium to, to have a go at. Um, overall, I like the modular design. It's pretty cool that you can click multiple together. And uh, yeah, I could see myself replacing this in the near future. Okay, so the dimensions here are 12 centimeters by 10 centimeters by eight centimeters. And we have 11 and a half by nine and a half by seven. So not exactly the same dimensions, but anyway, I think it if it arrived in one piece, I'd probably be pretty happy with $13 for this little uh, Lego fish tank. Um, but uh, alas, it's not very functional. So we'll have to try and get a new one of those. Okay, I'll just say that I just contacted Wish Support about this and they issued me a refund immediately. So um, if it comes through, I would have to say that that was a pretty effortless process. It took less than five minutes to get that, which is actually very surprising. So, so let me know down below if you'd want me to reorder another one of those and scape it out. I thought it could be a little cool mini scape, especially since it has a built-in light. All right, so this next one here, there's two things in here. This is kind of like Christmas because I actually don't remember everything that I ordered. Ah, yeah. So often in LFSs we see these cichlid stones and I find that they're pretty overpriced, generally speaking. So I saw these guys on Wish and I thought, that's actually not too bad considering what the um, fish store charges. So we've got some two little Episto caves or cichlid caves, whatever you want to call them. Let's find out exactly what I paid. Okay, so these guys were $15 for two. So I think that's pretty good. $15 for these two here. Um, we'll test out if they're tried and true, but they're, they're definitely ceramic. And yeah, I think they're a nice size overall. I probably would, if I was looking for a bulk order of cichlid case, I probably would go with these guys here from Wish. So maybe we have found a little hidden gem here amongst that website. All right, next one here, what do we got? Oh yeah, okay, so along the sim similar sort of vein, this guy here was the um, Pleco cave that I thought I'd order, because you know, I kind of got on a roll with caves. Nice little D cave here. It's fairly small, but I think it would be fine for Bresonos or small um, high-band sisters. And I'm pretty happy with that. Let's check what this cost and what the dimensions were. Okay, so this little guy here costs $6, which I'll show you. $6 right there. Uh, okay, and the dimensions state that it should be 11 centimeters, which uh, it is. So there you go, four centimeter opening by three centimeter opening. Yep, perfect. So another item, $6 uh, arrived as described. Really happy with that, I think once again, could be a great source for uh, these sort of uh, pleco caves and stuff, which can be a little bit expensive. So um, overall, I think we're really happy with the caves that we've got now. And $21 for these three caves is pretty awesome, especially since they're all ceramic. Um, just because we're not exactly sure about where these guys come from, give them a good rinse before I put them in the tank. But overall, I can't really complain with any of that. So pretty happy there. It looks like we've got two hits so far and uh, two potential misses with the uh, sponge and the tank. So last but not least, we have here, what is this? Cleaning kit. Oh, this I believe is a magnet scraper with razor blade. So similar story. These guys can be a bit expensive sometimes. You have a floating magnet cleaner with with a razor blade, so, okay. Let's have a look, we get everything out of here. And this is what we got. So first of all, I didn't expect it to be this small, but we will check the dimensions and see if that's just some trick photography. We've got a plastic blade here on top, which we'll try and connect on now. There we go, we just connect on the little um, plastic scraper there. Magnet, pretty weak. I wouldn't say it's necessarily too strong, but it might go okay on some aquariums. Uh, maybe 
thinner wall aquariums, like six and eight mil glass, this would be okay. I think this plastic scraper is a good idea because um, the actual Velcro inside the tank, I find generally clogs up pretty quickly. But I thought this would be quite good. So let's have a look what I paid for this guy. Okay, so this guy here was $10 and um, I think I got fooled a little bit of trickery on the photo there. Doesn't have any dimensions on there. So obviously there's a photo right there of somebody using it and unless they have very, very tiny hands, well, it doesn't look exactly like it's described there. So a um, little bit deceptive, but once again, you kind of get those things with wish.com. So um, I reckon that's maybe okay. What did I say? It was $10, probably a little bit overpriced. I don't mind this handle though, to be honest. And uh, I will definitely use it in the fish room, so it's not a huge loss. Hey all, so I just um, have been testing out this magnet scraper. A couple of things. The magnet is very weak, like if I just pull it out that far, it stops. Um, so yeah, anything thicker than whatever this is, five, four or five mil glass, probably won't work. And also, it sinks. So, um, it's kind of annoying. But other than that, I think it does a good job of actual scraping and can't really complain for the money. Anyway, overall, I think we got some pretty good deals. We got the magnet scraper with blade for $10. We got the uh, Pleco cave for $6. We got the two Episto caves for $15. We got the uh, better aquarium or small uh, Lego style acrylic uh, plastic tank there for, what was that, $13 I think. And then we got the, our uh, trusty coarse sponge here for $5. So overall I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'm really happy with the caves especially. Um, I like the little tank, I think it would be a fun desktop tank. Um, and I wish it was in um, working order so that I could have scaped it out. Although the customer service on that was pretty good so I can't really complain there. Um, the magnet scraper is pretty good, uh, although I just wish it was a little bit bigger. And the sponge, it's hard to get sponge wrong. Although I just think that the uh, description maybe had some interesting photos in there that wasn't exactly reflective of the true size, but the dimensions were there so um, that's my fault potentially for not measuring it out and, and getting an idea in my head. I think wish.com could be a pretty good source of aquarium related items. Also, I do have a six one that is on the way, so keep an eye out for that video, which I'll do separately. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that, and let me know what you think. If you've got some other wish.com uh, hacks or some good buys that you've got in the past, let me know down below, but I'm pretty happy with this, and who knows, wish.com might be my next uh, go-to aquarium online store. Hopefully you liked this video, hopefully it was a bit of fun. Uh, if you did, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.